marami sa mga aspiring freelancers ngayon ang nahihirapan maghanap ng clients. May mga ilan na sa first step pa lang ng pagsasubmit ng cover letter or ng proposal letter, bumabagsak na or hindi na napapansin ni client yung application. Ngayon, gusto ko tong pagtuunan ng pansin at gusto kong tulungan yung mga kapwa ko freelancers or aspiring freelancers na hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa rin nakakahanap ng client dahil nahihirapan gumawa ng effective at winning cover letter or proposal letter. Stay with me up until the end of this video dahil ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano tayo gagawa ng effective cover letter or proposal letter and at the end of this video, magbibigay ako sa inyo ng free access to a sample cover letter for both without experience and with experience. Hi everyone! Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Para sa mga bago pa lang dito sa aking channel, kung interested ka sa mga videos like this about work from home and earn from home tips, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon para updated ka every time mag upload tayo ng video. And before tayo mag-start guys, let me take this opportunity to thank all of you, all of my viewers and subscribers. Kasi recently na-reach na natin yung 15k subscribers. So, nasa 16K na nga tayo ngayon. Sobrang na-appreciate ko lahat ng sumusuporta sa akin up until now. Yung bawat pag-like, panonood, pag-share ng mga videos ko, sobrang na-appreciate ko yan. So, ulit-ulitin ko guys na without all of you here, wala ako kung saan man yung narating ko ngayon dito kay YouTube. And I hope na patuloy nyo pa rin akong suportahan all throughout my journey dito kay YouTube. I also want to congratulate the winners of our 1,000 pesos GCash giveaway. Samahan nyo pa rin ako guys sa ating hashtag race to 30k subscribers. Magkakaroon tayo ng bagong giveaway. Posted na rin yan sa ating Facebook page. So in this video, we will talk about ano ba tong cover letter or proposal letter na sinasabi ko. What are the guidelines that we need to consider in creating our cover letters? We will also create a cover letter real time. Papakita ko rin sa inyo yung mga proof of accepted proposals ng mga gumamit na ng cover letter na to from some of my friends. And of course, gaya ng sabi ko, at the end of the video, bibigyan ko kayo ng free access to this sample cover letter. Disclaimer muna tayo guys, all these tips are my personal tips. So if you think na there's any other way na mas effective kumpara sa mga i-discuss ko ngayon, of course, you're free to do it on your end. So... Follow your heart lang, di ba? So, ano nga ba tong cover letter or proposal letter na to? So guys, para sa mga users ng mga freelancing platforms like Online Jobs PH, Upwork, Freelancer.com, or kung ano pa mang website yan na nag apply ka sa mga clients internationally, so yung cover letter usually yan yung ina-ask ng mga clients sa first part ng application. They usually ask for a cover letter to get to know you, your skills, your experience, and what can you bring to the table? Yung pinaka main point ng cover letter guys is to show your interest in applying for the position and to show bakit ikaw yung deserving for that position. So yung mga usual na dapat included dyan sa cover letter is of course yung job position na in mo, who you are, what are your experiences, what are your skills, reasons why you are qualified for the position, related tools and CRMs that you have used before and contact information. So, yan yung mga usual content ng isang cover letter or proposal letter. Before tayo mag-try gumawa ng isang cover letter, ano ba yung mga guidelines na dapat nating sundan when creating a cover letter? So, we will start of course with the greetings and then for the introduction paragraph, we will state our interest in applying for the position. And then after the intro, of course, the body of the letter. Dito na natin i-state yung mga skills and experience natin and it's recommended to align the skills and experience based dun sa job posting ng client. And we can also include related software and CRMs we have used before. But we will also include our contact information along with our resume or CV. And the last part, of course, is our closing and signature. So ngayon guys, start na tayo mag-create ng sample cover letters. So ito yung i-consider nating job post. We are in need of customer service representatives to help manage various aspects of day-to-day -day operations with emphasis on customer service. 
So yung mga duties are processing orders for fulfillment, completing orders by using Zendesk to request tracking numbers from suppliers or via automated emails, vendor websites, reports, etc. Customer service and other related operations and duties related to customer service. Mga requirements na hinahanap ni client is it's a full-time position, you must be available EST hours with at least 2 years experience working in an e-commerce environment. So dito guys, hinahanap ni client is with experience pero later, tatry natin paano ba tayo mag apply sa magantong klaseng job posting as a beginner. Extremely detail-oriented, fast learner, and computer savvy. Excellent verbal and written English communication skills. Experience with QuickBooks, Zendesk, Magento, Amazon Seller Central. Preferred but not required. So, ayan yung mga requirements ni client. So, tatry natin gumawa ng sample cover letter for without experience and sample cover letter for with experience. For the greetings, guys, we can start saying like, Hi, name of the client. I hope this letter finds you well. Tapos sa introduction for without experience, pwede natin gawin is I am interested in the position of customer service representative for your e-commerce company. After seeing the job you posted, I immediately wrote this letter with hopes of being considered for the position. Para naman sa may mga experience, pwede natin sabihin na I am interested in the position of customer service representative for your e-commerce company. I believe that my experience and skills align with what you are looking for based on the job post. So I immediately wrote this letter with hopes of being considered for the position. For the body guys, dito na natin ni state lahat ng skills, experience. Ito yung possible natin gawin if we don't have any experience to this related job. I am applying for this position because I have the skills and qualities you are looking for based on the job you posted. To be honest, I still don't have any work experience in terms of customer service. I believe that doesn't mean I can perform the job because I know I can. I may not have experience when it comes to customer service, but I am willing to be trained. I can easily learn the process, information, and tools I need to perform the job responsibilities well. Pwede rin kayong mag-research dun sa company na inapplyan nyo and somehow relate it to your cover letter para mas makuha nyo yung attention ni client kasi dito wala tayong experience so kailangan maghanap tayo ng ibang way to catch your client's attention so pwede na itong idugtong yan dyan kunyari skincare yung company niya skincare products yung binibenta tapos pwede nyo sabihin na I also did my research about the company and I saw you are selling skincare products this is something that aligns with my interest this would also make it a lot easier for me to learn and interact with your customers. So yan, pwede nyo yung gawin guys. O pwede nyo ring idugtong. I am a detail-oriented person and I am very attentive to details. I'm also well-versed in the English language, both verbal and written communication. I am familiar with using different CRMs or software like social media, Microsoft Office tools, and Google Drive tools. So pwede kayo magbanggit ng mga basic tools na kaya nyong gamitin, na tingin nyo magagamit din when it comes to customer service. This makes me a tech-savvy person. I may not know how to use the tools you're using in the business, but I believe that I can learn how to use them the same way I have figured out how to use the tools I mentioned. I may not be the best candidate for this role if the basis is experience, but I can still be the best CSR you are looking for if given the chance to be trained and learn your company's processes. I can be a great contribution to your company's growth in terms of customer service. It will be worth it for you to hire me. So ngayon punta naman tayo sa kabila which is for freelancers with experience. Ito yung pwede nyong gawin. I am applying for this position because I have relevant experience working with e-commerce companies in terms of customer service. I have worked as a CSR for the past 5 years in the BPO industry. I also have experience working as a CSR remotely for a US client for two years. Working in the industry for a long time, I have been used to dealing with customers. I always ensure that every customer is satisfied at the end of the interaction. I am also familiar with order fulfillment and managing tracking numbers or orders of customers. I am also used to doing different tasks related to customer service like account notation, customer follow-ups, outbound reach-out, daily reporting, and many more. 
I am a detail-oriented type of person. I am well-versed in the English language, both verbal and written communication. In addition to that, I have been used to using different CRMs, which makes it easy for me to learn new tools introduced to me. I have experience using QuickBooks, Zendesk, Magento, Amazon Seller Central, Freshdesk, Intercom, Shopify, and many more e-commerce and customer service related tools. I am the best fit for this role because I have the combined experience, skills, and knowledge needed to be an effective and efficient CSR. I can be a great contribution to your company's growth in terms of customer service. It will be worth it for you to hire me. So ito guys yung technique dyan na masasuggest ko. If you will notice for both with and without experience na sample body ng cover letter na ginawa natin, lahat yan ay na-mention yung mga minimum requirements from the job post. So pwede nyo balikan yung job post natin na yan. May kita nyo dyan na lahat ng skills may mention natin dun sa body ng cover letter. If you have experience, may mention din natin yan. And if we don't have experience, pinagtuunan din natin yan ng pansin doon sa body ng cover letter natin. So, make sure na attentive kayo sa details ng job post at i-address nyo lahat yan doon sa cover letter. And guys, punta na tayo sa ating next part which is providing our contact information. We can use the same script for both without experience and with experience. Pwede natin sabihin na, by the way, I'm available for a full-time position. I can also work within US business hours. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. EST. Please let me know if you need any additional information from me. I am attaching a link to my CV below here to get to see more of what I can offer. I will also put my contact information below in case you need it. So, pwede nyong ilagay dyan yung CV link or CV file, your email, your phone number, at kung ano pang platform or mode of communication yung meron kayong access. Then, for the closing and the signature part, you can do it like this. I am hoping to get considered for the position of customer service representative. I hope to get a chance to work with you. I am looking forward to your feedback and I will respect your verdict and decision regarding my application. Have a great rest of your day and stay safe. Then regards your name, applicant. So ngayon guys, papakita ko sa inyo yung mga proof of accepted proposals. The reason why I'm sharing this is because I genuinely want to help our subscribers and our viewers. So ito na guys, ang tanong, paano nyo ba i-access yung sinasabi kong free file na gusto kong i-share sa inyo? So since nandito ka pa sa akin hanggang ngayon at nanonood ka pa rin, thank you so much. So ito ay nasa description box lang pero hinaid ko siya. Ang kailangan mo lang gawin is punta ka sa description box, click on see more para makita mo yung buong description box. Scroll down ka lang, mahaba yung description box na yan. Scroll down ka sa pinakababa after nung tags. May kita mo dyan yung link on how you can access the sample cover letter for with and without experience totally for free. So if there's any other way guys that I can help, please let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other video suggestion on how I can help you get your client, please also let me know in the comment section. Let me know your questions, your suggestions, your reactions, or kung ano man yan dyan sa ating comment section. Please don't forget to like this video lalo na kung nakatulong to sa inyo and share this to your friends na rin and sa mga family members nyo or relatives na naghahanap ng work from home opportunity hanggang ngayon. And if bago ka pa lang dito sa aking channel, please consider na rin to subscribe and to click the bell icon para wala kang ma-miss na video every time mag upload tayo. So that is it for today's video guys. Join our giveaway na sa ating Facebook page. Thank you again for watching this video up until this point and I will see you again in our next videos. Bye for now.